Stephanie, our protagonist, who loses her family before the film even begins. And we find her in a very destitute situation. And she's given an opportunity to sort of seek vengeance for her family once she finds out that the plane crash that they died in was not an accident, but actually uh, an act of terror. Sarah is sort of an information broker. He uh, knows where people are, how to find them, uh, how to get to them, etc. And people pay him quite well for the information that he has access to. We meet Sarah fairly later on in the film. Um, Stephanie is undergoing a transformation. She begins the film as a prostitute and is now sort of becoming a covert ops um, sort of specialist. And uh, Boyd has helped her make this transformation and now she's seeking out Sarah because he has information to help her find U-17, who is the individual responsible for the bombing of her parents' plane. And uh, so she comes to Madrid, Spain, to find him because that's where Sarah is living. And with the hopes of sort of coaxing him into giving her the information necessary to ultimately find U-17. It is an intimate experience shooting with her because there's no, she is boundaryless, you know, and is giving direction while behind the camera and always challenging her actors to do something different. Like if she feels it becoming too routine, she's like, no, just scream it. Shout it, like do something completely different. And you say, okay. Actor to actor, you know when you look in someone's eyes and you see just how present they are, she's gonna blow people away. Um, Mrs. Reynolds got, has got skills to pay the bills. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to really have this experience with her because not only did I make a friend out of it, but I, I'm, I've become a fan of her work as well. She's so committed so focused um, and nothing like who she is as a person. She's a very vivacious, lively, you know, ebullient person and this character is not that at all whatsoever. Folks are going to be a little shocked. Well this is my first time in Spain working on Rhythm Section and it's an absolutely gorgeous country. Madrid is a majestic city. Um, done a lot of exploring with my family ate in the oldest restaurant in the world just the other day, which was pretty cool. Um, and then the set for my house is just gorgeous, overlooking this ridiculous lake with this back porch. You know, simple house, but modern, cool, slick. It feels very much like where Sarah would be. I'm excited because the way that she's described the choreography as well, it's not of someone who's like trained in Kav Magra, you know what I'm saying? It's not like that. It's someone who's thinking on their feet and figuring it out as they go along. So it's gonna be stage combat as part of our storytelling. You know, you're not taking a break from the, from the plot in order to go into an action scene. They go hand to hand, and I love that about this film. She's not polished, is our protagonist of this film. She has pretty much no idea what she's doing, and she stumbles through a lot of it. But it's such an interesting origin story for someone who could be like the next super spy. And I think that's what it was. It was an origin story. I don't know if I remember like the origin of Bond. Bond is always Bond. But we get a chance to see Stephanie become who she's going to be as the series moves forward. That's it. Where is the buzz you said? We used to be a